In this lesson, you'll learn about transformations of linear functions, specifically horizontal and vertical translations. A translation is a transformation in which the shape or size of the graph does not change. It's shifted vertically or horizontally, or both, by a particular number of units. The rule for a translation specifies how much a figure or line is shifted and in which direction. In particular, a function is translated vertically by k units means that k is added to the output value f of x. So the equation for the translated function is g of x equals f of x plus k, where f of x is the original, k is the amount of vertical translation, and g of x is the transform function. If k is positive, the graph moves up by k units. If k is negative, it moves down by k units. Let's practice this. If f of x equals 2x plus 3 is translated 4 units up to form the function g of x, find the rule for g of x. Here, f of x is translated up 4 units, so k in this case is positive. When you move up or down, that's a vertical translation. And since it's a vertical translation, k will be added to the output f of x. So g of x equals f of x plus k, and g of x equals 2x plus 3, the original f of x, plus 4, which is k. Thus, g of x equals 2x plus 7. When you graph both f of x and g of x, you can actually see the translation. You can see here that f of x is translated 4 units up to get g of x. Now let's say that a function is translated horizontally by h units h is subtracted from the input value x. Your original is f of x, and the translation is f of x minus h, and that's equal to the translated function g of x. If h is positive, the graph moves right by h units. If h is negative, it moves left by h units. Keep in mind, though, there's that minus sign. Let's look at an example. If f of x equals 2x and g of x equals 2 times x minus 1, what's the transformation? Here f of x is 2x and g of x is 2 times x minus 1. Notice the input x on f of x is replaced by x minus 1 on g of x. In other words, 1 is subtracted from it, so h is 1. Since h is positive, this represents a horizontal translation to the right by one unit. You can see the original f of x equals 2x and the transformation g of x equals 2 times x minus 1 here. And now you've learned about transformations of linear functions.